Steve Coburn after the Belmont. Bulldog Hanover. Humpty Dumpty. What do they all have in common? They're all losers. Losers among losers. Because glory is for the few. And yet, it's that faint glimmer in the distance which makes any of us try in a game that ultimately ends in defeat. Any road to distinction is long and arduous, especially here in Harness Land, where we do not believe in the concept of an interstate highway system. And after becoming the only country banned from the Olympics for poor athleticism, we had to construct our own traditions. The neighboring town of Thoroughbredville does something similar. They call it the Breeders' Cup. And the idea is to have a set of races to crown the best of the best and not to just create a cool two days of chaos. It started in 1984, the same year that Harness Land instilled its tradition, the Breeders' Crown. Crown, Breeders' Crown. We, we couldn't think of a better word than crown. Everything starts from birth. The journey of every racehorse begins the moment they plop from the womb. They plop? They plop? Like giraffes? I'm the mayor of this town, so I should know this, but to me, that's an invasion of my citizens' privacy. I didn't even look my own stork in the eyes when I was delivered. Some secrets are best kept mysteries, I guess. What's no secret, though, is everyone who owns a racehorse dreams of this weekend. For the Breeders' Cup, it's the many months of development, prep, and qualifying winning your in races just to potentially be one of the 14 in the gate out of the tens of thousands of racehorses born. For the Breeders' Crown, it's the many months of hoping that your nomination check clears and then praying to whatever god you picked that the declaration check also clears. And much like the circus, the Breeders' Crown is a traveling show, just without the carnies punching the horses. Plus, every horse gets to go home, even the ones that are eliminated. To make it to the Breeders' Crown Final, most horses will have to perform in an elimination race with the best finishers earning a spot to race for the trophy. Eliminate is such a harsh word when you think about it. This year, the Breeders' Crown is at Woodbine Mohawk Park in Ontario, Canada. Now it's a long walk from here, which is why I started several weeks ago after that poor excuse of a world champion, Bulldog Hanover couldn't do it. He couldn't save us. Part of the, part of the Breeders' Crown tradition in Harness Land is the carrying of the flame, which we did not steal from the Olympics. We simply thought it was a cool idea, and someone mentioned the Olympics already did that, but as mayor, I will not let the Olympics stand in the way of my town. Uh, I volunteered to carry the flame for our opening ceremony because I'm a good mayor and I'm not trying to hide from anyone else looking for me. My people elected a hero after all, not a coward. And sure, my walking stick doubles as a sharp weapon, but it's not cowardly to wield a blade, not when, at any moment, one of the rogues can just come out and jump you. Now, if you excuse me, I need to forage in one of the many Marie Callender's frozen meal bushes that grow around here. Oh, okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> ah! Oh, wait. Oh, oh, that's one of my guys. Oh, oh, 
God! Ah! Uh, he didn't have to die! Oh! Oh, I killed a good guy! Ah! Ah, dang it.